Hello everybody. If you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like this video. It's a very important video that we're doing today. I've been talking to the Lord for hours. <clears throat> a lot of things are being confirmed. There's a lot of things to talk about. First of all, I want to stress to you, do not fear. And those of you that are out there on these YouTube channels, that that's what you've been peddling for a while now. Your time has come to answer for what you've done. All you pastors, all you churches that have confused God's flock, your time has come. You thought you could just do what you wanted to do. But now you will find out that he's still on the throne. You governments you think that you could destroy God's people and get away with it. Now God will respond. You've got away with it for so long. It was okay to mock him to do these things. Your time is over. Things are about to change. The church will be taken out of here. And you're all about to see that with your own eyes. Planes will fall out of the sky. Cars will run into mountains and against each other. Boats, people will disappear. The captains will be gone from these ships. They will be floating carelessly in the oceans. Doctors, lawyers, people from every background will start to disappear. From this earth, you have now been warned that the Lord Jesus Christ has come to get the church. Many of you are going to be left here. Billions of you. You're about to see the full force of God. Things you didn't never think that was real is about to start to take place. But you, you know who you are. My sheep. This was the message I got. You've been watching. You've done the research. You've read your Bible. You wanted to know him. You're getting ready to go home. Don't ever doubt that he's coming. He's here. Have yourselves ready. The world's about to be judged. They've never seen judgment like this. I was watching the news today. They made a hate crime to go against LGBTQ, but then they asked them to do the same thing about those little Christian kids. They said they couldn't do it. You can only do this stuff so long and get away with it. But let me tell you something. You choose what side you're on now, on this day. This is it, people. Choose your side. Yeshua is coming. Not in 2024, not in 25. He's here. You better choose now. Because je the world has never seen judgment like this. Israel right now is ready to tear itself apart. The restrainer is bulging and bulging and bulging, trying to keep the world from destroying each other. But when we're gone... They will destroy each other. Just last night, Bonnie saw and got, got a message that was directly leading to the one I've got. And she heard Israel is about to be on fire. All of her enemies are going to come against her. I told you where we're at. Nobody, a lot of people don't believe me. But I promise you, starting tomorrow night, you're going to start to believe like you've never believed before in your life. Things are going to start to take place that you didn't even think was possible. Judgment's here, people. You that's been on this channel for all this time, you're aware of this and you're not afraid. You know we're leaving. But I'm here to tell you the world is about to shake like it's never shaken before. 
Yeshua's here. He's here. When that last Gentile gets on that boat, we're gone. This is last call. Today is last call. Get on the boat while you can. The animals and the people are already boarding. The animals are already on there. You have to make a choice. But the, the door to that boat is going to close within days, hours. But judgment's here, and it's about to be laid down. The world and its evil is about to be destroyed. You must be ready. Jesus loves you. He's the only way. You can escape this terror that's about to fall upon this earth. These people who think that they can just wait it out and not serve God, they're about to get a rude awakening. The tribulation is nothing what you think it is. It's 20,000 times worse. But understand, God will still be here with you. You tribulation saints, He will still be here with you. But it will be on you. It will be all you. You'll have to prove yourself. If you're hearing this after we're gone, that's what it will take. During the grace period, all you had to do is choose Jesus and believe on him that he did everything for you. But once we're gone, that will change. You will have to prove yourself to him. Have yourselves ready. The church is leaving. It's leaving now. It's very, very soon. That boat is going to leave soon. You're going to start to see judgment start to spill out. You don't want to be left here when it happens. Have yourselves ready. Now for you, the saints that have made yourself ready, don't doubt that he's here. Do not doubt that he has not come for the church. He has. He's here. That was the one message he wanted me to get to, through to you guys. Do not doubt. He is here. And he's taken the church. You will not go through this tribulation. It's not for you. These people that have preached that it is, they will be dealt with very soon. They know who they are. You've got 24 hours to repent of what you've said and done. Get yourself ready. Yeshua is here. I will stress this again. The church is getting ready to leave here. Have yourselves ready. There's only two choices you got to make. Either you go with Lucifer or you go with Jesus. That's, all, that's it. There is no in-between. There's no riding the fence. You call upon Jesus today. This world thinks it is not going to be judged. But it will soon find out that it's about to be. Nothing you can do for them. They've had opportunity, opportunity. Man's had many opportunities not to destroy itself, but it's already come, made up its mind that it will destroy half of the earth. And they're already making their plans to do it. Seven months after we're gone, they will succeed. Most of the United States, Europe, will be gone. It will be destroyed. It will not be a nice place to be. But very soon after we're gone, the world will know. That was a question everybody wanted to know. The world will know, like I said. People are going to start to disappear all over the world. In every background, in every country, in every tongue upon this earth, they're about to start to disappear. They will find boats with nobody on them. They will find cars into the mountainsides or going off bridges with nobody in them. 
It will be chaos for 24 hours when this happens. Planes will fall out of the sky. Pilots will disappear. It will be chaos. People will be on their knees begging God to come back. That's what it's going to be, people. They're going to plead. They're going to beg. They're going to scream. And then that will turn to anger on day two. And then the ones that are left preaching the gospel, people will want to lynch them because of their anger, because they was left. That is what's about to happen. Get yourselves ready. And be ready. Because things are falling apart faster and faster. The birth pains have gotten so crazy. So many events today I'm not even going to bother talking about. But the events have just increased 700 fold just overnight. And those are like, well, I don't see anything happening. Well, yeah, you did. But you chose to ignore it. And you'll be left here. Wake up, people. We're out of time. Jesus is coming for his flock that's made themselves ready. We've been stressing that for five months here. I've told you, you don't have forever. But people will not listen. So I'm going to keep trying to knock this in your head that we're out of time. Supernatural things are going to start to take place. Once you start to see them, Know that the church's time is getting ready to leave. And I'm saying today, a huge earthquake in Oklahoma of all places created damage. In Oklahoma, people. You're just people, the media doesn't want you to see these events. Us watchers, we look for all these odd events and they're everywhere. I can even list you all the ones that just happened in the last 24 hours. We know the signs. We know the math. We know where we're at. Either you can trust the watchers or ignore the watchers. That's all. I mean, that's, that's up to you. But we're here to tell you Jesus is coming. He's here to get the church. That's all we can do. Now, you can either believe it or not. It's not up to me. Like I said, I'm going home. If you want to come with me, Get on the boat, because I'm not staying here in this evil place. This world has already made its decision whose master it is. It's going to serve. The United States, all of them, they've already made their choice. They chose Lucifer. Without a doubt, they've made their choice. God's already said that. They've already made their choice. They've chosen the God they're going to back. We're leaving. Either you get on the boat now or be left here under their rule. But we're leaving. And trust me, eternity is a whole lot better than this hellhole that's going to be once we leave. You don't know me. I know that. And you've been misguided a long time by false teachers, the church, everything. But I'm here to tell you, all these people, God, God knows what they've done. All these people on YouTube saying that they get a message from Jesus every single minute. Well, they're about to get a rude awakening. It's not about us. It's not about me. I wouldn't even be here. What we are here to do is to get you on the boat. To let you know that the time is up. And it is. You can believe me or not, but I'm leaving. I'm hoping it's any day. I hope it's any minute. But I've already told Jesus, I've already made my plans. I've already done everything here. Everything's ready. I'm going home. I suggest you do the same. We don't have to pack no bags because all of our stuff's up there. It's not down here. I'm waiting on him. I sat out here all night last night waiting on him because I know that's how close we are. And he's letting me know that it's that close. 
He loves you. You're not subject to wrath. But the ones who kept telling you that you was, they're going to get their wrath. And it's not going to be what they thought. We're leaving, people. I suggest you get ready. Yeshua's here. And the world's about to be judged. It's not going to be pretty. Have yourselves ready. I, like I've always told you, I will be here up until we're not here. To let you know that Jesus loves you. And if you love him, this is a great time. We're going home. No more disappointment. That's one thing he wants me to stress. No more disappointment for the church. They are going home. Have yourselves ready. Understand that what's happening around you, the world is ready to destroy itself. The restrainer is the only thing holding it. And once we're gone, the restrainer is gone. And then God's going to let it destroy itself. And it will. Yeah, man will destroy himself once the restrainer is gone. The only thing stopping this world being on fire is the restrainer. But as soon as the church leaves, the world will be on fire. And there will be no stopping it. The Antichrist is here. It's being confirmed by multiple sources. We've asked. We got our answers. He's the one that was behind 2020. He was the one that's behind the great war that's going on in Europe. He's behind it all. That's why we have to leave so he can take his place and he will help man destroy themselves. So understand what I'm telling you. We're leaving. The Antichrist is here. He's already in the power. He's just underground. He cannot be shown until we're gone. Once God lifts us out, the world will burn like you have never seen. There will not be no grocery stores, none of that stuff. That stuff will go, it, it will just, you'll be able to find food here and there on the sides of roads, but that's about where you're going to find. It's going to get that bad, people. Now, that won't happen instantly, but it won't be long before that happens. The banks will crash. The police will crash. Everything, everything that you take for granted now, everything will be gone. Months after we're gone. This will just, it will not be a safe place to be. That's why Jesus has made us watchers come out and talk to you like we have for the past five months. He's given, he's been giving people years to prepare. And then he brought more of us on here in the last days to try to get as many other people awake as possible. And that's where we're at. I'm here to tell you, you have nothing to fear. Like I said, Jesus went and prepared a place for you. And your place is in heaven. Your sickness will be gone. You will live forever in peace. So rejoice in the Lord today because He is coming for the church. You will be leaving soon. Understand, this is the greatest day in human history. He's coming to get you. Don't give up on that, okay? Satan's going to try to talk you out of it, but I'm here to tell you, Yeshua's coming for you. He's taking you out, and he's taking you to your new home. Today is a good day. Marks the end of this evil world is coming. Have yourself ready. We're going home. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in that new home.